I watched this today, and uh, boy, I was uh, I was not expecting this to be as good as it was. Like I, I thought this was going to be pretty shitty, but I mean, th this is a real decent, solid movie. I mean, it 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 feels like a theatrical release, like. I don't know. I was just really. I was. I was not expecting this. I mean, it's not the like best movie in the world, but it's it's pretty damn decent and good to watch, man. I mean, there's no real woke bullshit in there. It's uh, it's just a real good kick-ass movie all the way through. And they got this piece of ass on here. My God, is she gorgeous, man. This chick is... <laughs> she's <laughs> she's one of the hottest fucking chicks, man. This is that chick from the Bond movie. Uh, so Ryan Gosling gets recruited by Billy Bob Thornton for the CIA. I don't, I don't want to ruin th this whole movie, so I'm not going to have... I'm, I'm going to try to keep the spoilers light, but basically he's fighting uh, America's favorite asshole here, Mr. Buzz Lightyear with his gay kiss. He's the bad guy, and uh, as much as I really dislike Chris Evans now, I mean, he, he was pretty funny as the bad guy. I mean, he was really, it was like a cliched Frenchman or something, like it was really... I think he was trying to do a comedy bit personally, but I'm not sure. There we go. When the CIA's most skilled operative, whose true identity is known to none accidentally, uncovers dark agency secrets, a psychopathic former colleague puts a bounty on his head, setting off a global manhunt by international assassins. <clears throat> it's uh, It's pretty good, man. I mean, no one, no one would really think of Ryan Gosling as an action star, but I, I thought he was all right on this. I, I thought it was he did he did okay. It, it was uh, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Like I was expecting this to be just another shitty, crappy Netflix movie, but. Boy, I mean, it, the effects on this, man, it is just, I, I, I highly recommend you give this a watch. It, it's pretty fucking good. And, I mean, come on, man. A Anna de Armas here. I mean, do I need to say more? I mean, she's, she's really good in this, too. I, I like the stuff she was doing on there. It was pretty freaking good. So, um... I don't know what else to say, really. It's just a. Uh, it's just a really good movie. It 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 has a theatrical feel to it. That's the thing I like about this movie. Like it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like you're watching a Netflix movie. It feels like you're watching an actual theater movie. I mean. The effects on this thing are just, I mean, it, it's really fucking good. I, I i would feel pretty good telling people to watch this. It's, no, um, I can't really think of uh, anything that I really hated on this movie. Um, it's not woke. She, she's a supporting character. And um, she she's basically the same role as she was in that Bond movie, but but she did a lot more in this one. It was the same same character basically. So uh, if you're looking for something good to watch, man. I I can recommend this. This is pretty pretty damn solid all the way through. Yeah, Billy Bob Thornton's on here. Oh, 
Well, I don't know what to say. I don't have anything bad to say about this movie. I, I really enjoyed it all the way through. I mean, I can't think of anything bad. It, it really just has a theater feel to it. But like I said, in comparison to like um, John Wick or something, like this could use some improvement. But I don't know. They might make a second one. I, I don't know. But uh, it's pretty good. Anyways, um. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.